Hello everyone, welcome back to today's GeoFS video. Um, okay, never mind, these aren't actually gonna be daily. Hopefully they are. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you how to get different liveries for different planes. And there are two really good uh, plugins for GeoFS that are super easy to use, much easier to install than uh, Autopilot++ Plus Plus and FMC. Uh, in the last video we covered, which I highly recommend you check out. And um, yeah, it gives you hundreds, and I'm being serious, hundreds of customization options. For, uh, for countless number of planes that are even in, if you go to aircraft, even in this community contributed tab. So let's dive in. So first let me quickly touch on what a livery actually is for those of you who don't know. So a livery, and you'll see airlines in the real world do this all the time. A livery is just changing the way that an airline's plane will look. So here's an example. Um, and thanks to the daily, daily dose of aviation for this, um, I use this thumbnail, um, sorry. Um, but um, this um, this is the old American Airlines, and these look like these look like the same planes, right? And they are, but this one looks different, and this is called a livery. So this is well, actually, this is the new one. So this would be a livery. It's just um, a kind of like different look of um, a a different look of a standard plane. So like if this was standard and it had like something else written on it, like Fourth of July, then that would be called the Fourth of July livery, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty simple, and it'll it'll make a lot more sense once we actually install it, and I'll show you in game. Okay, so now go to the description and click the first two links um, that say livery selector and multi liveries. So these are um, two that are really useful. So if you click on them, it'll show you what planes you want. So let's start with multi liveries. So this one is made made by Spice Nine, and he has a lot of con community contributed planes as well. So if we um, go down, oh, this one doesn't show us, but it'll give us a lot of add-ons for um, our liveries for the A319, A320neo, 787-10, 787-9, 787 787 and the 737 MAX 8 plus the P8. So um, yeah, a ton of stuff. And if we look at the next one called Livery Selector, you'll see that has even more liveries. These are all of the planes that it supports. So let's get them. So. Um, Let's start out with um, multi liveries. Why not? So, all you need to do is go to this, um, go to the uh, code right over here, and then go to multiliveries.js. Now, this is going to be the main file, so this is really important. And what I recommend you do is you just um, control A, or copy it all, and then copy it. Control C, or if you're on Mac, it'll be command. And then now, let's open up GFS. Click fly, and then um, what we're gonna do is instead of writing a tamper monkey script, there's a much easier way to do this. Now, while you can write a tamper monkey script, um, if you're only gonna use it for like like one or two flights, then I don't recommend it. So what you can do is just have your um, have your cursor facing. Okay. That, that's not happening right. Have your cursor just facing, okay, there we go. Have your cursor like facing your plane and then press and hold Control, Shift, and I. And what I'll do is that'll bring up the inspection tab where you can also like um, click these three dots and then click like more tools and inspect. Um, so now what we need to do is make sure that, huh? okay. So we want to make sure that we're on the console tab. So you see there's elements, there's sources, there's networks. You want to make sure you're on console. So let's wait for this thing to load. Yeah, so these are, uh, it's pretty cool if you look at it. These are all the commands that GeoFS is sending or sending to uh, Google to try and get its code done. So a lot of times it'll fail and that's when you see like, it'll sometimes be in the ground. And that just depends on your lag. So it's not a big problem. So we can do that is we can paste Control V, oh, not Windows, sorry. Yeah, we'll paste Control V that all this code from multiliveries.js in this tab. And then all we need to do now is just click enter. And just like that, it should say uh, loaded up there and all this stuff. So what we can do now is you'll see that, first let's close this out. This will, you'll see that we have this button called multiliveries. So Let's um, change our livery. So first, let's um, let's say I want to change the livery of a of my 737 Max 9 or Max 8. So let's go to aircraft, 
and community contributed and look for the multi liveries frame right here. So um, let's see, where is it? Boeing uh, 737 MAX 8 multi liveries frame. We'll click on that. And it should say, it should be TUI. Or TUI, I don't know. Yeah, TUI, TUI, I don't know. And then you can click on the multi liveries button and that'll open up its own little uh, page right here. And now, we can change our livery. So once this thing loads, sorry, I have a lot of tabs open. Come on. So let's do, um, let's go to search and we'll do search by airplane or airframe. Airframe is just like airplane. And then let's do Boeing 737 Max because that's what we selected. And look at all of these liveries that we can change into. And this is only just for one plane. So we can do a ton of other ones. Like let's say, um, ooh, which one should I change it to? Ryanair. Click. There. We click it and we close it. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at and look at how um look at how um easy that was. If in like a couple of seconds, um, get yeah, this loaded. Oh, is that a space shuttle? Wait, that's crazy. Okay. But yeah, and so if you plan to use like these for a lot, and remember, um, let's go back to multi liveries. You'll see that um, we have um, all of these uh, planes that we can use. So if you want, what you can do is you can go to, if you're going to use them a lot, I don't use them too much. It only use them for like one or two flights. You can click on Tamper Monkey, and then you can just create a new, a new script, um, and then just paste everything from multi liveries. Uh, dot js into that script just like we did for autopilot plus plus and fmc in the last video so yeah and then if we close it out it'll um kind of uh it'll um get rid of it because it'll, it'll only stay for the console right so if we close it out however what i do is i have a i have a gofs folder on my desktop and what that has is it has like a ton of website like fmc routes or like a ton of shortcuts for like creating FMC routes and I have like a folder for screenshots all my created routes and I'll also have like um, I have a livery folder inside the GFS folder and here I'll just put all this code so then instead of having to go back to the website in this video I can just open up control a control C open console control B so yeah it's pretty simple so let's go to the next one called livery selector now this one um, has uh, a lot more options but still, both are really good. So this one actually is a little bit, takes a little bit longer to, or takes one more thing to install. So let's open up uh, GeoFS and click fly. All right, come on, load. Okay, so all that's loading, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this website right here and okay yeah so since we don't have it installed well this still keeps it until like we change our aircraft and change it back because it um saves the file okay so what we can do is if we go to livery selector you want to look at this um line of code that says local storage dot favorites equals empty string semicolon and that will be uh here too so you want to just copy this control c and then let's um open up our console just like we did last time with control shift and i come on there we go and so now we're in our console and in our first line you'll see this little like um like uh like this thing right here and that's where you can start typing your code and let's go ahead and paste that line and, and you should get this empty like um single quote string right there and then you can go back to a uh, livery selector and then go to main.js. And then we can control A, control C, and copy that. Let's go back to the GFS console, and then paste that in. And just like that over here with the location button, you'll see the livery, uh, livery button. So we can close out the console. And I can understand why people will want to um, install this with uh, Tamper Monkey and there's uh, there are instructions in the what do you call it in the no oh, come on there, was a, there are instructions down in the readme file so let's see what plans let's change into an A350 right well, let's say I want to get like a 
Let's say I want to get a Qatar Airways A350 using um, livery selector. So here we are on our uh, normal A350. If we open up uh, the livery, livery tab, then I'll show you the liveries for this plane, only this plane. And so let's find it. Uh, Qatar Airways, here we go. We'll click on that. And just like that, look at that, Qatar Airways. And we can change it. Um, just you can change it to all this stuff. Ooh, what's German Air Force? What does that say? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. That's cool though. Um, what about uh, Cathay Pacific? This one's in the game though. This is in the community contributor tab. Oh, this looks way nicer though. Yeah, and it probably has the same, and it keeps like the same cockpit too. I'll, I'll say this uh, Singapore Airlines. And since I really like this one, I can also click this star right here. And it'll be under favorite liveries, and it's right there. So we can close this out, and would you look at that? That's the same thing right there. Um, so why why these two? These two both have uh, a different variety. Like multi liveries will give you like stuff for like your 737, A320, but this will give you stuff for your bigger planes like A350, uh, 777, uh, 787, all that stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have today. If you um, if you need any help, don't hesitate to comment or, um, yeah, don't hesitate to comment. Uh, I'll reach out to you and, um, yeah, thanks for watching.